All right, just roll the theme song. Hey there, everyone. This is Phantom Games. And so I've been watching this one creator. Okay, so this is how this started. I used to watch the Spill videos, and Spill had spoken to a creator by the name of Brew, and I know that they're, they all have, like, different related names, along with which they also have this one particular cartoon series. I'm, I believe it's called On the Hill. I haven't really watched everything from that series, but I know that Brew and Chill and Grill and Spill and all these characters are in this series. Um, I was watching uh, Spill's channel for a bit, but the thing is, is like, I really, really, really got into the, uh, well, <laughs> into the Brew series, because like, I don't know, there's something that's so exciting about finding a creative way to represent, like, different things, along with sharing knowledge. So, the one thing I loved about the Brew channel is it reminded me so much of all the older shows I used to watch when I was a kid. Like, <laughs> I used to watch, like, all these things on Channel 13 and all sorts of, like, different educational type things, along with which Brew kind of felt like a mixture between, like, your typical adult show to um, Bill Nye the Science Guy. So it's like, I personally, I felt like a connection with this series because I felt like the character himself is so incredibly adorable. Like, the character Brew, he, um, well, his, as his name would suggest, he's, you know, a coffee drinker. And the thing is, is like, I connect with that on so much because, I don't know, when I was a kid, I was not so much into drinking coffee, but my grandmother would give it to me. And so I connected with this character the first little bit because of what he said about coffee. And then further on, the way he uh, taught things, it was so incredibly funny, but also cute. And then I, I loved the way he interacted with the other characters in the series because it's like he's, I don't know, I guess kind of antisocial, but not like intentionally. Like it seems like the character himself is uh, just kind of like weirdly uh, introverted, but also not. <laughs> like, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe an ambivert? But I don't think he's quite an ambivert either. It's like, okay, so he's just kind of a, a little off, but in a good way. <laughs> it's like, he's, he's such a cute character and I love him. Like, he reminds me of all the people that I grew up with where they were, like, geeky and into all sorts of different facts and trivia. And the fact is, is, like, each thing I've seen of him, it's... I don't know, I just, I love it. He has a beautiful awkwardness. I guess that's the best way to describe it. He's awkward, but smart and funny and interesting. It's like, his channel feels a lot more relatable than Spill. Spill is more like, um like, drama-related stuff, but, like, Brew is more, like, pop culture and real facts and, like, the, the, the very thought of overthinking. Like, it's the best way I can describe it. It's, like, facts plus overthinking. Possibly a little bit of both together, and it's, like, it's the perfect series, in my opinion. And so when I was um, trying to design this character, I wanted to design the character to kind of have a feel like he is a sort of awkward scientist type. And it's just like incredibly awesome. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm not collabing. I, I wrote this at the beginning, but I wanted to make sure people knew I'm not collabing with the Brew channel. I just like really like them. I mean, I'll do this with a lot of channels I really like. I'll turn them into sim characters. And I actually already did this with the uh, the character Grill. 
I sent him a post on Twitter about this a while ago. I don't know if he ever actually saw it, but like, it's. <laughs> I actually adore these characters. I think the next one I want to do is probably chill because, like, he's just like. He's so zen and beautiful, and he's just got this soft, bubbly personality. And oh god, I just. I love him so much. He's got kind of like that sort of modern day hippie feel to him. Kind of like Matthew McConaughey meets, like, the most sweetest guy you'll ever meet. And, I mean, I don't know. Maybe Matthew McConaughey is the sweetest guy you'll ever meet. But it's like, it kind of comes off a little, uh. But, yeah, it's like, I think that Chill's, like, one of the cutest characters ever. He's just so adorable. Also, I don't know if they're doing this on purpose, but it feels like they're baiting me and... By weird Fujoshi ways. Because, <laughs> like, those characters are so incredibly cuddly, best friends with each other, and it's like, oh god. I just, I, just, I want to see them hug. I want to see them hug, and, like, everything's that's beautiful. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I, I absolutely adore these characters, and I probably, like, I don't know exactly what to say, but, like, that's basically the gist of this video. Like, I wanted to add features to make the characters kind of look like if they were humans. Because these, uh, the characters are very cartoony in design. Very chibi-like. But, like, not quite. Like, they're like an in-between. Between Western designs and Eastern designs. It's like, kind of like, really cutesy little cartoons. But then... It's like, oh my god, the stuff that they say. The stuff that they say really does drive you like, what? That just came out of that. What? And it's like, I don't know how exactly to describe these series all together, but I know with the On the Hill like cartoon, as far as I've seen, it's supposed to be that all these characters are the typical stereotype of a YouTuber. And I guess that would mean that possibly Brew is your typical smart guy that teaches you stuff. Possibly, like, the infographics type of person. I'm not entirely sure if that's what he fits into. But, like, I know, like, with, uh... I would just say Grill's probably your typical, uh, channel that, like... I know that Spill's a tea channel, for sure. Like, <laughs> it's in her name. But, like, I think that Grill is more like your roaster. Like, like in his name, he's like, he's gonna roast you. <laughs> um, I, I have, you know, Chill doesn't have a channel, I think. I don't know if he has a channel. But my guess is he's probably, if he was a stereotype of the YouTubers, he would be those vegan YouTubers. You know, the very chill ones that kind of sit and they do yoga and all that. And it's like, I kind of want to see more of this series just to see how it goes. I am, um, I mean, I don't know exactly how to word it, but like every single thing I've seen so far with all these characters have been beautiful. And I kind of, I don't know, I kind of want Chill to have his own channel, but I also like think that it wouldn't do very well because it's like... I mean, you gotta also think about what's gonna bring in the bucks and guaranteed a channel where a guy's just talking about nutritional facts and being all chill and sweet and loving the world, you know, positivity and all that. That's what I see when I see chill. And with Brew, I see kind of like that typical smart infographics type guy that will talk about the past and relate it to uh, modern day stuff because that's what he does on his channel. So I'm thinking that's the type of stereotype he is supposed to be for YouTubers. I'm not entirely sure. And it's it's pretty obvious what Grill is. But, um, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, and subscribe for more spastastic content. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Goodbye. Mwah.